Today marks one year of sales for Ohio's medical marijuana program. As Nine on Your Sides, Paolo Suro tells us with a spike in patients, prices have actually significantly dipped. It has been a milestone year. Patient access has, has really come a long way um, since, since that first day of sales. From when patients had a four hour drive each way to the nearest dispensary to today, where Ohio has almost 50 dispensaries open. It's been a year of growth for us, really. I mean, if you look back on the first day of sales last year, we had four dispensaries open in the state. And looking back, there were fewer than 5,000 registered patients in the state. Now there's over 80,000 and the number continues to grow while prices go in the opposite direction. And our neighbors, um, you know, to the to the east Pennsylvania, we actually have lower prices than they do. Thomas in Rosenberger with the Ohio Medical Cannabis Industry Association says this is making the Buckeye State more competitive with states like Michigan, which has had a medical marijuana program since 2008. You know, on that first day of sales, um, demand way outstrips supply, uh, and so we had some pretty high prices. Um, but those prices have come down about 40 percent. They're now now at about $330 an ounce. Rosenberger says this is just the beginning. 2020 could even see an expansion on the list of qualifying conditions to take medical cannabis. So we saw autism and anxiety almost get added last year. They didn't quite make it across the finish line, uh, but we have another year of evidence supporting that. Paolo Lasuro, 9 on your side.